Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. Well, uh, nothing going on on the calendar today. On Sunday, I preached out of Exodus chapter 11 and talked there about uh, the fact that God will repay those who uh, do evil against you, that uh, God will repay you for your sufferings in this life, and that God will repay those who have caused your sufferings um, in this life, and uh, which raises the question of what our responsibility is toward those who harm us. And you know, the most difficult commandment that Jesus gives us is to love our enemies and to forgive them. Here's uh, how that commandment goes out of Luke chapter six. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from the one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. First, I want to point out that this passage uh, is addressed to those who hear, to those who hear. And I just want to take a second on that because um, in the Gospels, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, there is this progression uh, and this differential that Jesus makes between those who will hear and those who will not hear. Those who hear, they progress on to believe and progress on to are saved. Um, but there's a, the first difference is between those who will hear and those who will not hear. And I think it's important for us to be those who hear, right? I mean, the, this is the key. We need to hear Jesus when he talks about these things. We need to listen to him. Um, it's a very challenging thing that he's about to say. And uh, so you and I need to listen. We need to listen with expectant hearts and open hearts, ready to hear what he has to say. It says, I say to you who hear, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who abuse you. Now notice, Jesus is not saying that these people are innocent right? Um, they're actually, they're actually guilty people, right? They are your enemies. They curse you. They hurt you. They abuse you. Um, they're not people who are doing good to you. They're not people who've just made a mistake. They're not people who are, you know, basically decent people who are just sort of uh, walking a challenging road. These are people who have actually done evil to you. They've actually harmed you. And Jesus' call to his people, to anyone who will hear his voice, is that you? Is that me? I hope so. Is that we would do good to those who do those things to us. They hate us. They curse us. They abuse us. In response, we do good to them. We bless them. We pray for them. We love them. Right. The, the rest of the stuff that Jesus says here is sort of unpacking that, right? The one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. If they take away your cloak, give them your tunic as well, right? Um, it, it's talking here about a situation in which we look for a way to bless those who are harming us, even as they're harming us. Uh, it's very hard. This is very difficult. Um, and, you know, our human response is to want to lash out. Our human response is to want to uh, to hurt those who are hurting us. Um, but Jesus calls us to a, a deeper, more difficult ethic, an ethic in which we are seeking to bless every person. 
I read a thing on Facebook the other day, one of those little graphics that people make with, with uh, pithy sayings on them. And uh, this one said, as far as I can tell, the world is divided into two groups. Our friends, who uh, we're supposed to love, and our enemies, who we're supposed to love. Um, <laughs> it's hard to argue with that. I mean, I think that for the Christian, um, that's how the world is divided up. There's our friends and family, the people that we love, right? people that, that love us. Um, and those are people we're supposed to love. We're supposed to care for them. We're supposed to look out for their best interests. We're supposed to do what blesses them. And then on the other side, there are the people who hate us, curse us, abuse us, revile us. And to them, we're supposed to love them as well. We're supposed to do good to them. But I say to you, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. It's a challenging one as well. In this day and age when uh, people are always asking us for money, it's a challenging thing to see give to everyone who begs from you. And I think there, uh, I don't think that means that every in person who sends you an email on the internet asking for money, you have to give to. But um, I think there, it is talking about people who are uh, close by, who are in need, that you have the opportunity to help um, and uh, you know, give to everyone who begs from you in that sense, we're, that, we're, because we're seeking to be a, a, a channel of blessing to all those who are around us. And of course, it finishes up there with uh, Luke's version of the great uh, commandment or the um, the, the um, the golden rule as you wish that others would do to you do so to them and as you wish that others would do to you do so to them i find that one of the more challenging and convicting um, commandments in the scripture that uh, our actions towards one another ought to be driven by uh, what we how we would like to be treated and uh, that's challenging it's challenging because it means putting ourselves in other people's place and uh, governing our behavior based on uh, on how we can be a blessing and be kind to one another. Uh, proactively kind, doing to others as we would have them do unto us. Uh, not just repaying them good, but also proactively uh, doing good to them. It's a challenge. It's part of being the Christian, uh, it's part of the Christian life, and it is something that requires the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. It requires the power of Jesus in our lives to do those things and to do them out of a full heart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you give us this call, this command to do good to those who are uh, harmful to us, those who harm us. And God, it's, it's difficult. And it, it doesn't mean that uh, we need to put ourselves into a position to be harmed further by people, but um, it does mean that um, our objective ought to be the good of all people, even those who have done evil to us. I understand that it, it might take time to get to that place in people's hearts, but I pray you'd help us uh, to work our way in that direction and to recognize that that's our goal. I pray for your help and your spirit to work in our hearts each day on this uh, in this direction. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.